First at noon, Chopper 4 over a marina near Port Everglades, where it's another busy day in the huge humanitarian effort for the people in the Bahamas. The need for the victims of Hurricane Dorian is great. And the generosity of people across South Florida is not going unnoticed. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Fort Lauderdale with the latest. Ted. Yeah, Lauren and Maribel, this mega yacht here is supplying the World Central Kitchen that's uh, serving tens of thousands of meals in the Bahama. You can take a look at it right now. It is being loaded up. A lot of volunteers out there right now. What they're doing is they're first getting everything inside of that cargo area. Once that's full, they'll close that door. They'll fill up the back. Then they'll fill up the top. All this food should last about a week. The mega yacht Global is getting loaded up, preparing to head out to Freeport with food and water for Chef Jose Andres and his World Central Food Kitchen organization. We're feeding tens of thousands of people daily. I mean, the, I don't have an accurate count, but I can just tell you our kitchens are really cranking over there. Uh, people, are, uh, people are in really hard need of food, and uh, we're doing our best to feed. Uh, it's, a, it's a monumental task. That's the mission, to keep people in need fed. Four truckloads of food will end up on this yacht, along with four more truckloads of water in a 1,500-gallon water tank. Right now, the food is prepared in central kitchens in Nassau and Freeport. The goal now is to prepare meals on the spot. We're going to do pop-up kitchens uh, that will be using paella pans. So a lot of everything we're using here is so we can get out and rapidly feed people. Loading up this yacht is no easy task. Everyone here is volunteering their time. It's mostly off-duty firefighters and police officers from Fort Lauderdale. We put a call out and they showed up and they're just, you know, awesome. It's their time and they came to help and they want to, they, everybody wants to help and we can't all have boots on the ground in the Bahamas, but we can certainly help by being here and doing our part. Captain Johnny Robinson is here. He has family in the Bahamas. He figures as a firefighter, it's his duty to help anyone in need. It's a lot of hard work though today. It's not hard. It's not hard when you're helping people. And a lot of hard work going on right over there on that barge. That's where the water is being loaded from the dock onto the barge. You can see they have the crane there. Eventually, that water will be uh, they're going to float that, uh, that barge over to the mega yacht here, and they're going to use that crane to lift all that water onto the second floor of the yacht so they will be ready to travel over to the Bahamas. They're expecting to leave here sometime this evening, hoping to arrive there by 9 o'clock tomorrow. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.